What's going on, guys? And welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark mm -hmm. Aberration Ascended. Last we left off, we tamed a couple of dire bears, and uh, the dire bears are somewhere down there for... I think, I think they're down here. Yeah, I, I see a couple dire bears down there. Well, I don't see them, but whatever. Oh yeah, I see the name tags down there. They're breeding like hot cakes. And I've done some more off-camera work. First things first. Boom! We now have the gene scanner. Oh, so this is how that works. Okay. Ah, alright. You right-click to see the scanner and whatever. I mean, we got the awesome spyglass, so there's really no point in using this. And also, we got this thing. The, um, gene storage. I think we can hold up to 15 genes in here. So if we want some of the best genes, we can, you know, use that for whatever reason. And we can, like, scan for genes. So let's, uh, let's test something out. And we can I'm take out... Sure how to help you with that. Alexa, I wasn't talking to you. Sorry. I thought I heard my name. I'm sorry about that. My, uh, voice assistant thought I said her name. But anyway, uh, if we... So if we go in here... So we just extracted the gene traits. Alright, we got... Health Robust Dire Bear. This creature has Health Robust gene, and its offspring are more likely to inherit the higher of its parents' health stat. Hmm. That might be good for our breeding Dire Bears. So if I place this, how would this work? I would place this on another Dire Bear, obviously. I think. So would it be... The male diver, whichever one has the highest health, it'd probably be this one, right? No, wait. Uh, what are your stats? You got the 32, so. How would this work? Not extract traits. Um, how does this. How does this work exactly? I. Don't really know how this works, but I think if we could, like, store the genes into here, I don't really know how this works. But anyway, in today's video, I also did some more off-camera work. I want to go into the radiation zone. But wait, you need radiation suit or a hazard suit. And boom. I managed to get some congealed gas balls. I made one of those gas collectors. And we made two sets of hazmat suit. So we're going to go in there. And we'll wait to get the hazmat suit in there so we can um, do whatever. But first, we need a couple of megalosaurs. So we got the imprinted megalosaur down there. So we're going to go get the megalosaurs. And then we'll be good to go. What levels of spinal? That's an 80. All right. 11 points in the health. All right. That's not the greatest. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. We're going to get a couple of megalosaurs, and then we're going to take them down to the radiation zone. I've got some hazmat suit. I've managed to make what we need and some spares just in case the armor breaks. Because the armor will break over time. So we'll bring, we'll bring Tiffany over. We'll bring one of the megalosaurs. We'll ride one of the megalosaurs down there. And then once we get to the Rock Drake nest, nest, because that's the goal, once we get to the Rock Drake nest, I'll add in a couple more Megalosaurs to the mix, and we'll have them fight the Rock Drakes. Because it's going to be swarming with Rock Drakes. I want to get a Rock Drake so we can, um, so we can grab, so we can go to the surface a bit easier, because the Rock Drake is the best thing to use when it comes to that. So, all right, let's get some eggs. All right, the uh, spinos can keep breeding. We just need the megalosaurs. Yeah, I haven't really been lucky with the megalosaurs lately. You know, what we'll do, we'll bring, like, two females and an extra male, because I'm pretty sure the one we have is a male. All right, what kind of uh, day are we on? We're still on a 90% night. It's 20. So, yeah, I think... I don't think... We're ready for that yet, so... I don't know if it'll change or not. 
If it doesn't change, then I'll do a surface runoff camera. Or something, I don't know. Or maybe we'll take the rock drake to the surface next episode. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Once we get a rock drake, then we'll be able to traverse the, uh, the surface a lot easier. Alright, you're healed up. Mm. Let me put you away for a minute. Let's see what we've got for... For ravagers or anything. What, what do we want for level 232? All right, 232. We have a female, and it's a weight mutation. I kind of want to see what this looks like. There's the light green. Ooh, you got like a light green body. You know what? I might keep you for colors. I might keep you for colors. The rest of them we can drop. What about the dire bear? 218. Okay. Mm. All right, you lost the hell. We got a female. We kind of need a male with the perfect stats. And you lost the health. So, yeah, no need in keeping those. We'll drop the rest of those. Alright, the Megalosaurus should be fully grown. So we'll take them out, do some training with them, and we'll be good to go. Close that, please. I don't think we'll need the Gigantoraptor. I mean, we might take the Gigantoraptor just in case. I don't know if it can handle the radiation zone. That's the only problem. You know what, Nanny? You can sit this one out. You can sit this one out. There we go. All right. Um, all right, the Megalosaurus should be ready to go. Let's take them out and test them out. See how good they are. All right, go after them. They completely destroyed that Spino. Absolutely destroyed. I'm still on the lookout for a high level. We got like a 45. I'm going to level them up for a little bit. We're going to train them and see if they're ready for the rock drakes. Alright, go attack whatever I just pointed out. I'll be on standby. Now, what are you stuck on? Alright, come on. Yeah, absolutely destroyed everything. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. These are our Megalosaurus squad. I don't even have names for these guys yet, so... Alright, we got 60 levels already. Let's go up into each 100,000 health. And then maybe 1,000 weight. Maybe 2,000 stamina, and then put the rest of the melee. Alright, so what I might do is grab that extra saddle from the, the female mom that's there at the breeding pen. Heal these guys up, and then we'll head over to the radiation zone. Alright, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, all of the Megalosaurs have been fully healed, and I think we're ready to go. So let me go ahead, close this, save the game just in case it crashes. And there's a Yi Ling right by the base, which is wonderful. 25. Yeah, we'll be able to take on the Rock Drakes with no problem. You know what I should make? Those cliff things. What are they called? Climbing picks? Yeah, climbing picks. We just need some green gems, fungal wood, metal... Okay, that's not too expensive. We can quickly make that. Alright, let me go ahead and make one of those, and then we'll uh, be on our way. So we're heading into the radiation zone for the first time. No idea what to expect. And while I'm at the surface, I'll also be searching for a Fasilosuchus to take. Because I heard with it being rich in metal and all, that the Fasilosuchus will be very easy to tame. At least that's what I've heard anyway. Alright, so we'll head in. We'll grab what we need and then we'll go from there. Well, we got a blue drop. I'm just going to see what's in this blue drop. Hopefully a better pike or something. No, but ghillie armor? I guess we could take that. Alright. Once we get to the radiation zone, we'll have to put on the hazmat suit. I might save the ascendant shirt for the second pair. For once, the we'll use the primitive one first. And then when that breaks, we'll use the ascendant one. Before we go in, we need to light up the light pet. Oh, Jesus. 
Damn, a Ravager attacked us. Alright. As I was saying, we need to light up the light pad. Alright, let's get out of here. Before another Ravager comes to try and ruin our day. Oh, hello. There's one of those Thorax spiders. Yeah, that's a level 85. Huh. Not the greatest level, but I might tame one at some point. The last one I did, you know, the one where I tamed the female, the first one from the center map? That video, for some reason, has 2,000 views, while the rest of my arc videos barely get 100 views. For whatever reason, this one got popular. So I might even do another one. Alright, we're gonna have to do a lot of swimming. Megalosaurs aren't the fastest when it comes to swimming. I should I probably should have used the Baryonyx for this. Uh, Alright, well, I'll let you guys know when we get to the zone. Alright. Time to put on the suit. Maybe we can go a little bit closer. Oh Jesus! That was a Prolovia. I forgot they spawned down here. Alright, I think it's I think it's time we put the hazmat suit on. Alright, hazmat suit has been acquired. Yep, this is it. This is definitely where we're we're here. So we got We're protected from radiation. We've got the hazmat suit and we're ready to go. What lies down here? I have no idea. But hopefully we can get through it. Now we need to look for the rock drake nest. Yeah, we got seekers after us already. Ouch! That's a Polovia. Yeah, they can still throw us off the saddle. That's good to know. Alright, I'm protected at least. These Polovia. Oh no, don't you dare run away from me! That's a Reaper Queen. Uh, Megalosaurus, get out the way. Or Tree, get out the way. Yeah, Reaper Queens will spawn down here. Unlike the Reaper Kings, which only spawn when Nameless are around. Kill everything we see. We need to be careful of Arthropleuras as well. Okay, stop moving so I can... Seeker, stop moving. Thank you. There we go. Oh yeah, Spino spawned down here as well. well. That was a 130. There is a baby. It is a male. Baby. Oh, that's a queen. That's a Reaper Queen. Run. Ouch. 42,000 health. It's a 45. A level 45. I'm going to have to fight this guy. Oh, we can do this. There we go. Alright, we know we can take a Reaper Queen on. That's that's good to know. Missed out on a 130 Megalosaurus. Another Reaper Queen. This one's a 20. We can take this. Alright. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna have to watch out for Reaper Queens. That's the only thing. Alright. Let me just see... Let me just uh, do some research on where the, the Rock Drake Nest would be. So... I'll be right back. All right, so they're at 59.68. We're at 69, whatever. Fifty-five Megalosaurus, another Reaper Queen. There we go. The pheromone glands. I think we need those for when we eventually tame a Reaper. All right, hold on. Okay, stop leveling up. There's a Seeker attacking you. There's an 
another Reaper Queen. Alright, I found this, uh, yellow drop. We're gonna see what's in it. Do some really good... Some riot boots. Really. We're gonna save the game just in case. How's my hazard suit going? Doing good. Is this it? I think this is it. I think this is the rock drake nest. So, we'll see how we do with this one megalosaur, and then if not... Oh, we got megalanias spawning up here. Got a level 50 megalania. Hey, that was easy. We'll take this egg, and we'll be on our way. Not even looking at the level, I'm just gonna take the egg. Alright, bring it, Rock Drakes, bring it! One eighty. That better be where the egg came from. Oh Jesus! Seeker, get out of here. Seeker, stop moving! Here we go, finally. Alright, egg number four, Seeker, piss off. Here we go. My Megalosaurus isn't doing too hot right now. Let's just take this one step at a time. This will be the last egg, and then we're getting out of here. All right. Bring it on, Rock Drakes and Seeker. Why is there always a Seeker attacking me? Get out of here. Yeah, we might need to leave soon. I mean, I've got an extra set of armor, but yeah. All right, that Rock Drake saved my fall, so that was good. All right, we got five Rock Drake eggs. I might look one more time, see if we can find one more egg, but then we're getting out of here. I will grab this next egg. Ah, I got him. That was a 130. Hopefully that's a 130. Alright, we are getting a bit heavy. Let's put the eggs on the Megalosaurus. Alright, and we are officially back at the blue zone. I've managed to collect 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I've collected 10 Rock Drake eggs while I was down there. So hopefully one of them will be a decent-ish level. And if they're all garbage levels, I'll just pick the one that's the highest level. That's all I'll do. But, like, we could have, like, multiple high levels. I mean, we've had that with the Wyverns, so why not have that with these guys, too? Alright, so let's, we'll head back home, and then we'll see what we got for Rock Drakes, and uh, we'll, um, we'll go from there. So, I will see you guys back at base. Alright, and we are back at base. This Megalosaurus managed to solo it. We didn't need the others. But you know what? Great job, buddy. I'll take the eggs from you. No, wait. We're gonna be over encumbered. So why don't we take the eggs over to the yard, and we'll see what we got. Alright, I'll... Let's get a little bit closer. Of course, there's an earthquake when I want to do this. Right, let's wait for the earthquake to piss off, and then we'll move on to the eggs. Alright, the earthquake's over. Alright, cool. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We've got 10 Rock Drake eggs. One of them's bound to be a relatively high level. So the first one is 140. Okay, we're keeping that one. This one is a 10. We're going to eat that one. This one's a 185. We're definitely keeping that. 10, 
eat 15, eat that one. 165, keep that one. 20, eat that one. 175, keep 10, eat, and 10, eat. All right. So we managed to have four high level rock drakes. So we got 140, 185, 165, and 175. Obviously, we'll go for the 185 and see if we can get a high level version of that. So for the Rock Drake saddle, what are we going to need? Don't I have a really good Rock Drake saddle? Let me see. Uh, rock. I got a blueprint. All right. That's kind of on the expensive side. Hmm. So what I might do, craft up a saddle, maybe get some wood so we can, you know... Fire up the refining forge, and then we'll uh, see what our rock drake is capable of. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so the rock drake should be done. Uh, what do you mean too hot? Uh, excuse me? The hell you mean too hot? I'm gonna have to make some ACs, aren't I? I should have some ACs. Hold on. Give me a second while I get some ACs going. All right, and we're back. I made six air conditioners, so hopefully this will work. And they're still too hot for whatever reason. They're all too hot. What, what, how, how is that too hot? I, I don't get it. All right, there we go. Let's try this now. Still too hot. What's going on? Why are they still too hot? All right, we got way more air conditioners this time around. And there we go. They're hatching. Finally. It just took so many air conditioners to do it. All right. What do we got for rock drinks? So we got three males and a female. So for this is the 175, 165. Okay, so the let's start with the 140. So the 140 had uh, kind of terrible melee. 19 points into melee, 16 into stamina, oxygen food, no one cares. 21 into weight and 20 into melee. The 165 had 29 points into health, that's better. 28 stamina, oxygen food, no one cares. 25 weight and 33 melee. The 175 had 25 points into health. 31 into stamina, oxygen food, no one cares. 25 into weight and 27 into melee. And then the 185, which was the only female, had 25 points into health, 26 into stamina, oxygen, food, no one cares, 35 into weight, and 30 into melee. So if we look at them, 27. So this one has the most melee. This one had... Okay, so the 165 seems to have the most melee and most health. So we might go with the... So we might go with the 165. We'll keep the others as like... Like, we'll keep the female as, like, a breeder or something. And we'll definitely keep the other three as, like, spares and whatever. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. All right, let's head back down and uh, see what we got. And then if I have time, on my spare time, I might go to the surface again, see if I can get some more drops. It's 3.30 now, so we have until, like, 11 o'clock to get out of there, so... Actually, I might even take one of the rock drakes up to the surface on on camera. I might even do that. So, we'll have to see what goes on. All right. We got a fully grown rock drake. This is the 165. This was the one with the greatest stats. We start with 8,400 health. All right, let's see what this guy's all about. Well, we got some spinos over here. Oh, C is the cloak. We've got an 85, that's a pink spino. We do 515 damage to start with. Yeah, we attack very slowly. Can we shoot off the back of you? Oh, I can shoot off the back of you. That's very interesting. Now we got 25, level 25 spino. Alright, come on, please die, spino. Thank you, and crab. All right, how much time do I have left for the surface? 5.11, so we might be cutting it short, you know? Might be cutting it close with the surface. All right, 3,900, that's, that's what we like. All right, 
so you know what? What I might do off camera, I might head over to the surface and then we'll see what we can do there. And while we're there, we'll see if we could find any Fasilisuchus to maybe tame next episode. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So I will see you guys at the surface. Alright, here we are, the surface. And the blimp is still there. Alright. Let's eat all of those. So we can have some protection against whatever. Alright, I think it's just the lighting. I think 550 is when the, uh... What's it called? The Reapers stop spawning. Alright. So we might have some time... To kill before we, uh... Have to go back. I think with a 90% night, we have until 11. And they did this specifically for the Facile Asukas. So yeah, at this point, the Reaper should stop spawning. Oh, we got a blue boosted drop. Alright, this will make getting drops a lot easier. Building materials. It wasn't worth it at all. Alright, that drop will be coming down. At this time of night, we don't have to worry about any Reapers. I think at like 5.10 or 5.50 or something, that's when Reapers stop spawning. So, we should be good to go. We could spend a little bit of time here, but then we have to, we have to jet. We have to get back out underground. Oh, we got a, what's that, a Yi Ling saddle? Oh, cool. And we got a better chess piece. But no better weapons. That's poopy. Alright, 807. We've got a little bit of time. Let me just head over to this terminal real quick. Just to see what it's all about. Alright, there are some creatures we can't upload on here. For some reason, ouch. Probably because they're not allowed on this map. Like, one of them's probably a Pteranodon. Uh, apparently, Coco Krispies, Olivia, Ed, and Drago are not allowed on this map. Well, if we wanted to, we could bring one of the rock drakes out of here. That's good to know. Alright, let's go get this drop real quick. It's 8.30. We've still got a little bit of time before we have to skedaddle. So if we wanted to, we could bring our, our blue pyromane here if we wanted to. But I kind of want to save him for another series. Are any of you Fasilisuchus? I don't see any indication of Fasilisuchus. You know what I could do? I could have a picture of you on the surface. That'd be cool. Alright, come on, drop. What do you have? Some more ghillie armor. Alright. Whatever. Alright, it is now 9 o'clock, so in two hours time, we have to get out of here. I know there are other entrances to the surface, and I will look for them, but we'll see what goes on. Alright, let's see what this red drop has to offer, and then we'll, we'll skedaddle. Right after we kill the Seeker, there we go. Ooh, a pump-action shotgun. A really good shotgun. Okay, that's that's really good, actually. 296 damage? Okay. Alright, do we have enough time to wait for this blue drop? 945. I don't think we have enough time. Let's, let's get out of here. Alright, we're out of here. Alright, we got the Zeppelin here, in case we need it. Alright, so what we get from... Oh, we got a compound bow, a really good compound bow. We got a shotgun, which is really good. Some polymer, we got some ammo, and... Hmm. Yeah, overall, really good loot. 
So we got a better shirt. Let's wear that from now on. Or we're overheating. I mean, we're overheating either way, so... Doesn't make a difference to me. Alright. Let's get back home. And then we can end the episode off. We got ourselves a couple of rock drakes. And the fact we can shoot off the back of the rock drake. We can take the rock drake everywhere from now on. We'll just use the rock drake from now on. Alright, let's see what kind of day we're on now. We're still on a 90% night. So if I wanted to, I could do some more off-camera work and go back to the surface and see if we can get some more drops. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Alright, let's get back to base. Okay, that's not what we wanted at all. We'll get there. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Yeah, we're not the fastest when it comes to attacking, but you know what? It's fine. There we go. Alright, so we got ourselves a Rock Drake, which is really cool. And, uh, yeah, I might think of a name for it. But yeah, with that, that's gonna have to wrap it up for this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. It would really help out a ton. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.